You write in your book about playing the long game. Mm. How is that important in long-term sustainability? Yeah, I think it's, it's crucial. Um, and the long game as a concept is essentially pretty much making sure that you're future fit, um, you know, if you use the, an academic term. And, and future fitness says, how do you build now for an undefined and, 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 and um, an unnamed future? Um, and for me, the long game is important because the steps that we take today in your personal capacity and as a business, whatever you want to call it, the steps that you take today should have a fundamental impact on, on, on where you are in, in future. Um, the, some of the things that I've made sure that I've done in, in my life is I've tried to define as much as possible in a five-year cycle what that end game looks like. Um, and I revisit it often. And when I was a young Thundercat and I wasn't married, it was easy because I would just pivot. Now that I'm married with children and I've got a wife who I have to take the, on the journey, it is really important to try and articulate that as best as possible. Now life happens and things change and I'm, I'm not one of those people that's that's rigid but if you have that kind of plan and you bring the people in your life on the journey it often makes it a little bit easier um, and I think it helps to guide some of the kind of uh, crucial moment decisions. So there'll be points where you kind of either could pivot one way or the other and if you've got a reference point that you can say well does this does this fit into my long-term plan it it really helps. Um, the second thing is the skills and the things you need to learn to be where you need to be. Um, so you know as you know the life that we live in now is a, con a continuous point of learning. Um, my favorite futurist, Alvin, Alvin Toffler, he speaks about illiteracy in, in our context, not being about reading and writing, but being about not being able to learn and learn and relearn, right? So the long game is that, you know, you need to consistently assess what you need to learn and what you need to unlearn to be able to, to achieve what you want to achieve. Um, and if you have that, those kind of two levers around getting the people around you to buy into your long term, whether it's personal or professional, and then figuring out what you need to learn or what you need to pick up or what you need to forget, you know, to be able to achieve that, um, I think is, is important. And it needs to be delivered and it needs to be done in a state where you're not emotional mm -hmm. um, so that you can have a very kind of neutral view um, and preferably if you articulate it and commit pen to paper it, it always makes it easier to achieve um, then you hold yourself accountable yeah. mm -hmm. I don't think we think about having to forget about things in order to grow but, yes. it's, but it's, it's a valid point yeah no I, f I find a lot of the time and my, my children have taught me this my children have taught me this I mean I, you, you don't realize how much you onboard when you're raised in a particular family context. Then you get married and you realize, geez, this person is so different from me. And then you have children and then you realize, wow, they, they're learning from what I'm doing, right? Exactly. So there's certain things I shouldn't be doing for them to learn the right thing, right? And so that for me has been the conscious, okay, I, there's stuff I need to not do, right? If I wanna, if I wanna have my children be raised in a particular way and because of the way I was raised, I do things a certain way, yes, yes. what do I need to not to do for my children to have a you know, better outcome? So that's generally the context of where I'm, uh, most of the time where I have, I have to kind of forget stuff. I not forget, but unlearn yes, and teach yes. myself a new way of doing things.